So I'm bragging about vulgarity for charity to one of my in-laws because I'm a fucking atheist. My charity isn't bound by some covenant of humility. We've raised over a million dollars for charity with this thing. You bet your ass I'm going to brag about it every chance I get. And given that I'm the only out atheist that most of my in-laws know, you can bet your ass I'm going to go out of my way to get those chances. Their stereotype of atheism is cold, pitiless, and bitter. And I don't know anything that pushes back on that harder than joyously reporting that a small group of atheists scrounged up a million dollars for needy and, and probably mostly religious families. But of course, there is no good deed that a dedicated Christian bigot can't shit all over. So here's the actual response. And I want to stress in advance here that this was not meant as a dig. Okay, this was her honest response to learning about our fundraiser. She says, you know, it's, it's wonderful what you're doing for those families. But then she added, and I'm pretty sure I'm quoting here, and it's really nice that you can give those atheists a chance for their lives to have meaning. So you're welcome, you meaningless motherfucker. Fuckers. <laughs> now, if, if you've ever met me, you may have noticed that I score a zero in terms of conversational poker face. So my expression made it super clear that I was offended by that response. And, and to her credit, she tried to walk it back, but she was so oblivious that she didn't really know which direction was back from there. And she just made it worse. She says, I, I only mean that without God, it must be really hard to feel like you have a purpose. <laughs> And then she and she nods at me, right? Like as if to prompt me, now your head does this, right? But but of course, I, I considered arguing with her, but it was clearly a dig in my way to China type situation, right? I I tire myself out before I made any appreciable headway. Both tasks would require a large shovel. Anyway, like I so because look, I can't honestly argue that atheists' lives have meaning or purpose. They don't. The only argument I have to offer is the way more complex argument that neither does hers, right? But meaning is not a thing that lives can have. That's not how lives work. Asking if your life has a meaning is like asking if it has a key grip, right? Moments have meanings. Actions have meanings. Decisions have meanings. But to think that something as complex and long and variegated as a human life could have some kind of singular overriding meaning isn't just to misunderstand life. It's to cheapen it. See, I've always looked at the whole meaning of life thing the way I look at the techno babble that people make up when they're trying to sell you audio equipment. It's always See, well, see, you need this model because it's the only one with the next generation mesh networked phase lock turbo and cabulator. And, and then along comes atheism, which isn't trying to sell you anything, having to field questions about how you're going to phase lock your encabulation without that model. Now, d d religious people will defend this idea to the death because it's pretty much the only thing they've got left to sell other than a fucking afterlife that nobody really believes in anymore. They'll tell you that Jesus can give your life meaning. And then they're going to hope like fuck that you don't ask exactly what that meaning is. Right? What are they, like, is, is your meaning to love Jesus? To resist Satan? Those both seem pretty, you know, passive, <laughs> pretty mundane. My meaning is to love the thing that created me and applied that meaning to me. Or, or even worse, my meaning is to not do stuff. Not to not do stuff at the bidding of the most evil imaginable thing. Or, or maybe they think that their meaning is to spread the word of Christ, to bring souls into Jesus. But then your meaning is just tell people stuff, right? So Christianity offers you the same level of divine purpose as like, you know, being the, the pre-recorded lady who tells me not to leave my luggage unattended at the airport, Right? Or maybe they say their their lives, the, the, the meaning of their life is to live in service of others or do good works or something. But I've seen the statistics. We know any Christian who truly believes that is in a lonely minority. But again, you don't need Christianity to have that kind of meaning. Right. So what the fuck are they even talking about? And it doesn't really matter because, again, lives don't have meaning. To think otherwise is to misunderstand both what lives are and what meaning is. Living doesn't need to have a point to be worthwhile. It's enough simply to be alive. One's life having no meaning, that's not some depressing punishment you get for embracing atheism. It's an uplifting liberation you get for embracing logic. And the only thing you lose in the process is time wasted searching for something that doesn't exist.